Hey everyone, I'm gonna be testing out the ASA and ISO on the Leica SL2S again with varying um, exposures in the frame here on these leaves. And I'm also gonna be testing out the difference between internal L-Log recording and externally recording onto the Atomos Ninja V. All right, so in this clip, I'm recording in full frame mode, um, internal L log to the to an SD card at ASA 1600 in Cine 4K 24 frames per second. The lens that I'm using is a 35 millimeter lens at f22. I'm trying to keep a varying brightness across the frame. Um, you can see on the left side that there are a bit of shadows, and towards the window ends on some of the leaves, you see a lot of um, uh, more light, basically. So now what I'm going to do is switch over to APS-C mode. With this clip, you see a little more shadows on the left side just because I didn't have um, the last clip to, to really compare it to. In this, again, I'm shooting in APS-C mode, internal analog still, constant, uh, constant. All the other settings are still the same. I think with this clip, you start to see more grain and more noise, um, at least amongst the shadows. So right off the bat, um, you could tell that the SL2S, um, it, it gets a bit noisier when you crop the sensor. But again, this might change as I, I bring this into the editor and compare. And now in this clip, I'm comparing full frame to APS-C side by side. With this, you can't really tell much of a difference between the noise levels. Um, in compared in comparison to this next shot here it, with this shot I magnified the scale to 400% so you can see more of the grain um, zoomed in APS-C mode you can start to notice a bit um, more more harshness in the in the noise uh, with this clip I'm showing more of the highlights of the frame now what I did was increase the sharpness just so you can see uh, a more exaggerated form of the noise that's going on. Again, this is internal L-Log, full frame on the left, APS-C on the right. Now with this comparison, I'm showing you the shadows, more of the shadows, uh, full frame versus APS-C. With this, again, you can see a bit more color noise on the APS-C side. Um, less so in full frame, but again, both of them are it, it does get a little grainy when you magnify to this scale. Now again, I increase the sharpness just so you can see a more exaggerated um, look of the noise that the camera is recording. APS-C, again, shows more noise in, in terms of both luminance and color, color noise. Here I'm showing a comparison of the highlights versus the shadows uh, in full frame mode. Um, you see like it, it, it's to be expected that the shadows are gonna show more noise. With an increased sharpness, again, you can see the noise that's going on. Now in this, I'm showing the highlights versus the shadows again, but in APS-C mode, uh, the noise obviously is gonna be more prominent in the shadows. Again, I increase the sharpness just so you can see an exaggerated look at the noise that the camera is recording. So I think the biggest takeaway from this comparison uh, between full frame and APS-C is that APS-C mode does show more grain, both in terms of uh, luminance, uh, luminance noise and color noise. I would expect this to be obvious because the sensor is cropped and uh, you're, you're getting less of a signal to noise ratio, but but the interesting thing is that the SL2, the original SL2, did better um, when that camera was cropped. So comparing the SL2 to the SL2S, APS-C mode is better, apparently, on the SL2. I couldn't compare the SL2 to the SL2S, so I'm just saying this based off of what people say. But from what I found on the SL2S is that full frame is better uh, when it comes to noise. So now what I'm gonna show you in this next kind of test is um, L-Log internal versus L-Log external to the Atomos Ninja V. When I was setting up for this test, I wasn't really planning to compare internal versus external L-Log footage, but I thought I might as well record both internally and externally. I found this really interesting because internal L-Log records or renders differently than external L-Log. 
Um, you can see in this clip that L-Log recorded to the SD card, it has less contrast in comparison to the Ninja V. It, it's really confusing to see that the colors uh, come out a little different. I, I'm not sure why. If, uh, if any of you guys know why, let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, the, the biggest difference between recording internally and externally seems to be a, a, an increase in contrast when it comes to external recording. In this clip, I'm showing you um, what the natural LUT supplied by Leica, again, does to L-Log both internally and externally. The natural LUT looks nicer on the external recording. Um, maybe it's just because there's more contrast and you don't see more of the shadows trying to gain more noise. But just in general, there's more contrast on the Ninja V. Now just for test's sake, I uh, decreased the contrast and played around with the exposure just to kind of match the internal analog to the external analog. I think that the noise level is pretty, pretty um, similar. So the biggest takeaway from this test is that L-Log internal versus external is, is different. There's more contrast in the Atomos Ninja V when you're recording externally. So that will affect your coloring workflow. I'm not sure why that is. Again, when I apply the Leica LUT, the, the colors are still a bit different and there's more contrast externally. That, that's the only big takeaway. Like there's no, at least from what I see, there's no difference in, in noise level. Um, it's just the exposure and, and coloring is a, a little different and you're gonna need to play around with it when you're editing. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this test and found it helpful, at least when it comes to noise and the difference between full frame and APS-C mode, on, again, on the Leica SL2S. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any other questions, but yeah, again guys, thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you next time.